Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to be looking at OpenKaiLin, the Linux distribution from China that was released around July 7th of 2023. So let's go ahead and get started and walk through this process together. And we're going to use VirtualBox as our uh, virtual machine tool here. So let me go over and let's go ahead and create new. Uh, new will do OpenKaiLin and uh, ISO image. Let's go ahead and choose an ISO image. We'll select Open Kailin right there. It's probably best to download this from a mirror over in Denmark or another country rather than getting it from China because the Chinese connection from every time I've tried has taken hours to download. Uh, so I don't know if it's just me or you know if it's the Chinese connection, but there you go. So let's go ahead and choose that. And over there, it went ahead and selected Linux Ubuntu 64. So we're going to go ahead and, and say, OK, let's, let's say that's all right. And over there for base memory, we're going to give it 496. So 496 megabytes or 2 gig. And we'll go ahead and give it four CPUs uh, next. And uh, for the disk size here, we're going to go to 48 gig disk. But that 48 gig disk is not pre-allocated. So that thing will be created on the fly as we go. Uh, so it's not going to, it's, it's going to be sparse, not pre-allocated. So it's going to be uh, not going to take up all that space. Let's go ahead and choose finish here. Now a couple of settings here. I'm going to go check. So display. Let's go ahead and increase that all the way up there. And on the system, uh, processor, yes, we're good. General, advanced. Okay, let's go ahead and make that bi-directional. Probably want that in the future. I'll put the username and description in here. So I'll try to make something called student. And uh, well, actually, let's make it lowercase. Student and password will try to be the username and password there. We'll see how it goes. And uh, then everything else from network, etc. I'm just going to kind of leave that right there as it is. So let's go back over and say, OK. Now I said, OK, let's go ahead and choose start. And there it is. Open Kylin right there, uh, starting up with us. And uh, auto booting into Chinese, I imagine. Nice, flashy, flashy intro. Wow, that's barely fast. I went straight to the live uh, live desktop here and click through, see if it works. Here I'll maximize, try some different sizes there. Okay, doesn't understand the VirtualBox editions by default. That's fine. Everything is, of course, in Chinese. Let's go ahead and start something here. And yeah, seems to work just fine. Seems to be pretty slick. Let's see if that's an install. And let's go ahead and choose English. Next, time zone Shanghai. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick uh, LA. Next, username. We're going to say it is. Well, username is going to be student. And this is going to be uh, Kylin Vu. Or just say open Kylan. Let's call it open Kylan. And the password is going to be password. Hey, I knew it my password. There we go. Password. And we're going to say automatic login and boot. Next. That's the drive. We're going to say yes, do that. And over there, it's going to say yeah, format the whole disk, go for it. So we'll see how long this takes and uh, let it spin right through. If it's going to take a long time, I'll, I'll pause it there. But we do have some messages here. We can view a log. And so far, it has been, you know, kind of the, the spit and polish, as they say. But it's um, it's been kind of nice. So well done so far. OK, we're about 15%. So it is clicking right along. It's going to take about, looks like, a minute to install. So I'm going to pause the video here and just kind of come back in every uh, every 30 seconds or so, maybe two or three minutes for the install. Okay, we're moving right along. We're up here at 52% right now, 
uh, it's cycling through a couple of different graphics for us saying, uh, you know, hey, look at the applications we have. We have a couple of different choices. I think it's saying it's built on Linux kernel 6. Yeah, 6.1, it looks like it's saying. That or 5.15, I can't really tell. I'm trying to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, we're at 96%, and uh, this is the first time that I've started Kylin, and uh, I don't know if you've seen it before, but this is what it looks like. So I'll put the uh, the link in there to one of the mirrors, so if you want to try this out, you can absolutely try this out yourself. Uh, the Kylin sources, where I can see the application sources there, those may take a little bit of time. As I said, it was really slow downloading it straight from China. Uh, but the mirror, um, I think I used the Denmark mirror. It was very fast, so it was uh, speedy. All right, it seems to be hanging out at 96%, but it is busy. It's moving right along, so it is uh, it is installing there. It's doing its thing. Okay, that 5.15 generic looks like it's using kernel version 5.15. Don't know what the 6.1 was. That is uh, Linux 6.1-5.15. So 6.1-5.15. Uh, generic well, that looks like a kernel version there. Interesting. In any case, I wanted to give you a uh, kind of a rundown of what it looks like for me going through first time encountering an OS, just booting that thing up um, and getting this going in VirtualBox. You know, straight off. Good, everything's disconnected. And oh well, it started right up, so didn't give me really really a chance to click on anything there. It's been speedy. That's nice. go here it is in English so is this WPS office yes it is got WPS office pre-installed got a software store there the, uh, the software store I would imagine is based out of China yeah look at that so if you speak Chinese this might be really useful <laughs> so let's look at uh, WPS office. It should say yes, Kingsoft. Accept their the license there. Start right up, and don't show me that again. That's normal for WPS office. That's absolutely normal, and uh, yeah, this is great. That looks good, and let's see what we got. Start the Peony file manager, I suppose, instead of. Uh, Nemo or something else. Of course, everything's going to be blank in there. Let's go ahead and try to install the VirtualBox tools. So we'll go ahead and choose the guest editions. And guest editions pop right up here. Uh, we Let's see if I can right click. And hmm, okay. What I'm trying to do is right click and open a terminal. There we go. Got it. So now we're in this terminal and we'll go ahead and do a sudo dash s. Type password for our password there. And then that dot, dot slash run as root. We'll try that. Oh, okay. It wants me to really run it as root. So I'll do the VBox editions over here. VBox Linux editions. We'll try that one. And the white screen is, is rather bright. So, you know, hey. Look at that. Building the modules for kernel 6.1. So this is uh, should have a lot of compatibility built directly into uh, this system. All 
All right, that's it. So it says it's done. So let's go ahead. We're gonna reboot. And see if this will reboot with the VirtualBox Guest Editions installed so that we'll be able to uh, get a better representation of the desktop. Oh, this is taking a lot longer to reboot. I'm going to press escape inside here to see what's going on in the background. Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, there's some job running. Probably one of those VBox services we just added that needs some type of kernel module and it needs to be rebooted. We'll just wait for it in this case for a few seconds and then we'll restart. Hit a control R on there for a reset. Okay, about 15 seconds left on that stop. We'll see, we'll see if it is able to stop it and carry on with this, this shutdown here. So let's give it a few more seconds. Excellent. It actually has music now on uh, on boot, so that's interesting. That was a, a nice little add. Uh, yeah, go ahead and remove that disk. Okay, took that disk out. I'm going to try the desktop resizing now to see if it can resize, and sure enough, it can. So that was uh, up to 4K there. Took the size down there, and now I'm going to take it back up to. Uh, just about 1080. There we go. Now it can use the whole desktop. Well, looks like a really good, solid system from the very get-go here. Uh, yeah, everything looks fine. Um, we'll have to click into it and see how everything runs over time. But just getting started, open Kylin is looking great and everything is working really well. As I say that, when I clicked set background, it didn't pop up. I, uh, there we <laughs> there. Just need a, a little extra motivation maybe. Can choose a background if I want to. A couple of different backgrounds to choose from. So I'll leave it on default because this is a fresh installation right there. So we do have that going on. So nice, a nice background there. It's uh, a little bit Linux Mint, a little Cinnamon desktop, a little Windows desktop. Uh, got a couple of, of different feels here going on as far as how the desktop functions, but it's, it's looking really good. And as far as the sounds or the settings, let's go over and look at settings and see what we have as far as the settings. So click in here, monitor, oh, my 1279 by 670 right there. What do I can do? What do I can do? Uh, 1920 by 1080. I'll leave it right there, say save, and then I'll make virtual uh, box figure out my resolution for me. There we go. So it can figure it out. All right, so back over to settings. So what I did there is I played with the, the desktop settings and I was like, you know what? Just let VirtualBox reassign it automatically. So over here, let's go back over. We'll go to audio. What do we have there? Noise reduction settings. Yeah, everything, we log out. We have startup music. This is light seeking. I wonder if it's going to let, let us hear it. Nope, maybe not. So it won't let us hear the music there. Um, but there's that. 
options with power notices so anyway there you go there's a couple of settings and uh, you can look at those settings right there so open Kylan hope that that works out for everyone sorry about that my dog just walked in uh, but there you go there's open Kylan 1.0 if you want to download it, uh, we'll have the uh, the link in the description there. If you have any comments, please feel free to paste some comments. Uh, if you liked it, then uh, like it. If you didn't like it, then uh, you know move on to another video. <laughs> hope that everything's going well for you, and I hope that this helped.